Hello! So, there we've got a uh, level G here and a, a happy monster, happy to, to be in this level and uh, be a be a thing in this level. Um, I'm not quite sure that's exactly how you draw a monster, I just kind of drew it from memory, but uh, <laughs> never mind, this, this is a happy monster. If it's not a reptile monster, it's still a monster that's, that's kind of like a reptile monster and kind of happy about being in this level. Anyway, so let's get into uh, the actual level itself. So I started off with this kind of... Uh, idea of you running away from a spirit out you know through the uh, the skulls and then you get past the cage and the spirit goes in the cage and you can get out but also decide to throw a uh, egg in there as well so it doesn't really come into effect at the start of the level but um, it does uh, later on when you're trying to get the monster out of that area which can be a bit uh, fiddly because uh, the monsters generally don't try to want to follow you too well. Um, See, so yeah, I'm setting up something here which is like maybe I want to go out of that area, you know, past the cage and then around, grab the key and then come back around and then do something else. Um, so I've got the general idea of the, the level there. And yeah, I want to put the, the time bomb in there and for the moment let's put the crown in there too. And it, it's kind of like a as I was saying, like you completed something big by running around this maze, and then you get to the crown. But it's it's still a little bit near the start of the level, so uh, that's going to move later on. And I decided not to make this like a, a solid brick wall um, dividing this area, but it's going to be a thing which you can only go through one way. So I'm just setting up a few things here. You'll see soon how it's going to be so that you can only go through it one way. But uh, yeah, and his little setup to start off with. Yeah, so if I make these into uh, safes and make sure the rest of this is blocked up by some solid stuff, that uh, you can only go through there once you uh, get the uh, the key. And obviously it makes you think a bit about where you're going to drop these uh, rocks down to and be a bit careful about that. So setting up another area here. I think this is one of the areas which kind of goes through a, a few different revisions before ending up the way I want it to. Because the basic idea is to set up like another kind of one-way system through here, but um, yeah, it's, it's taking a little bit to to figure out exactly how I want to have that set up. So obviously this part you can only go through one way, but then you could go over the top there. So uh, I pop this boulder down here now. You can st still go through it both ways, but I'm going to set up something else so that uh, you only want to go through it one way. Yeah, this is kind of like still figuring out exactly how I want this area to look. So yeah, if you push the uh, boulder at the top, um, well, both ways, uh, I haven't set up the thing below, but at the moment if you pushed it both ways it'll end up being a problem. And yeah, let's put the the, the uh, crown there so you have to go through more of the level. You have to actually grab the key before you can uh, grab the crown. And yeah, here's the setting up so you don't want to push the uh, boulder at the top there into this area because it's going to land on that safe and when you collect the key it's going to roll off onto the um, the other safe down there and, and block it off completely. And I haven't been considering on this set of levels you know, whether you can see the map or not. Um, I've kind of 
not been thinking about it and then when it's come to a a place where you, you know uh, you, you think oh is it important if the uh the player can see the map and then I'll obviously on the levels where it would be important to do so I haven't put whatever I've been thinking in um and you know gone with something so that you you didn't have to see the map on it but it's not really been much of a, a conscious thought yeah and some more fiddling around with the area to make it so you know it, it fits the way I, I want it to look so yeah and all the conscious effort went into thinking can you see the map or not but uh, I think looking at the levels it's, it's not uh, that difficult to see that you don't really want to push that boulder off well either way really um, because you can kind of see through the walls to see down and, and see that you probably don't want to push it down there and uh, you can see that the crown area is small enough that you can kind of see that you don't want to push things into there or push the, the boulder down that way um, so yeah and the thing I'm setting up at the top this is so that uh, well you can only go through it one way because uh, before you collect the uh, the key you're not be going to be able to uh, go through apart from if you push the uh, the egg across and then when you go down through that area the egg is going to be balanced on top of a, a safe so you're kind of well aware <laughs> that uh, this, this this egg is on top of a safe I'm setting up a little corridor to the side here which could be an easy way to get to the bottom area but if you do that you're going to have to push this boulder down there and then when you have to come up to deal with this monster up here it's going to be just right in your face and of course put a diamond right next to the boulder so that you have to actually think about removing that uh, diamond before you go into that area and yeah making sure this is not all uh, completely uh, skulls breaking up a bit visually and also uh, making sure that not every turn could mean that you're uh, going to run into a, uh, a skull. So yeah, I've kind of got a general flow of the level here now sorted out. I've got to fill in the uh, the details here, and I'm just thinking, I'll fill this whole entire area up with some some dirt. There we go. And yeah, of course we're going to do something else apart from fill it up with dirt. We're going to put um, some cages in there. And if we have cages, we're going to need some spirits. And yeah, just placing them randomly at the moment. But uh, then I'm going to put a, a few things in there so that we can uh, actually uh, get them to the, the outsides. And of course, because we've got uh, spirits running around here now, we kind of want it so they're not having to go around a huge area to get to where we want them to go to so just setting up a little uh, gate here so that when you've gone through it it, it blocks off the uh, the area behind you so that uh, you're not uh, all the spirits aren't uh, taking a long time to get to where they need to go to And yeah, putting those there as well so they don't take a long time to go around there. And yeah, these spirits have to be going around something to start off with, otherwise it's going to be uh, a little bit dizzying for them. And kind of putting a few more boulders down. Um, I think I had to think about this to see where I'd actually want to put them so that uh, you, 
um, can actually uh, do things. And yeah, that that causes a problem later putting that spirit there because, as you can probably see, that that boulder is going to fall down. But I didn't really realize that because there was earth there before, and I put something else in that space. I didn't really think that you know that thing that I put in the space is basically just an empty space. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to have to fix that uh, later on. They're making a little kind of pattern here. As I probably mentioned before, part of level design is going, hmm, I'll just do something here. Whatever's on your mind at the time, so that at the time was just like a, a little pattern with some safes and maybe some boulders and seeing what comes of it. And that at the moment is impossible to get through. And yeah, putting the, the boulder up there. Well, we could have left it as it is and you wouldn't have wanted to push that uh, boulder all the way through because you would have blocked off that diamond, but. Eh, put a save at the end. I mean, as as I said, this is not like the most difficult level. And yeah, doing that makes it possible now to go through. I'm just trying to kind of mentally play it in my head and see what's the, the best way to uh, do that. Actually, that's not possible at the moment, is it? because yeah you need something like that so you can actually get through there there we go <laughs> now that's actually possible to get through Yeah, a lot of fiddling around with this area to try and make it work. And you can see that the pattern I put down first of the, the safes is kind of kind of still there, but kind of not there now. <laughs> it's got remnants of what I put down first, but uh, not completely. So yeah, obviously this area was a kind of difficult one to try and figure out something to do. But I think the way it ends up is actually quite good. Because here now, the way this is set up, you don't want to drop too many boulders down into this area. And you don't want to be too careless about how you drop them down into this area. Because otherwise it's going to block the, uh, the way off. Especially once you've collected the uh, key. And so then you uh, can't easily... Uh, or can't then get back down to collect these saves which I just put down. Anyway, this is the, the end of the first part. The monster's still really happy about this. <laughs> so we'll see you next time.